So the first step is making sure we have all of our supplies together for our pet portrait today. And this is going to start off with a variety of oil paints. There's actually going to be a lot of different colors we're going to be using for this particular uh, subject. But just some of the key ones, of course, are going to be white, black, because our dog's going to be gray. We're also even going to have a specialized gray shade for that. We're also going to have some other shades like burnt sienna, burnt umber, raw sienna, for like that nice ruddy red color, as well as like a radiant lemon, a nice kind of uh, more pale yellow color just to name a few. In addition, we're also going to have a lot of brushes. Now, some of the brushes I especially recommend are having some larger flathead brushes, which we're going to use to apply over broad swaths of the canvas for some of our larger color regions. But also don't neglect to have some of the smaller brushes, like some small round brushes as well for some of the detail work we're also going to be doing today. Next, we have a palette knife, which we're going to be using to mix up the paint and also to apply some paint to the canvas as well. We're also going to be using a specialized pencil. This is going to help transfer our inspirational photograph onto the canvas. But you have to watch out. Some types of pencil will actually uh, show through canvas, so you're going to have to make sure that you get pe um, pencils that basically don't do that. Oftentimes, the softer lead variety or actually non-lead pencils are the best for that. We are also going to be using some media. This is going to be used to mix up with the paint, make it more translucent, make it thin, and so on. And of course, also, you're going to need a canvas on which to put your wonderful pet portrait today.